Hi guys, so here we have another salon redesign um, and my client sent me in this inspiration picture. Now this picture is not my work, I'm not claiming it to be my work. This is what my customer sent in and requested and this is what she got. So I'm going to share with you now um, the way I did it. So I've done a file down to a very thin base um, and I've prepped, primed, done all my cuticle work and then I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to place, place a thin layer of clear acrylic on all the nails so we're ready to then do the design work. And because these are um, a redesign I don't have to worry about pinching or anything and I will cap all of them at the end. So I'm starting off by picking up this glitter. This um, has yet to be named. Once it is, I will add full description details below. This was mixed up on the Glitter Fairy Play Day. Now this has a lot of different cuts, shapes, um, so you need to make sure that you're picking up with a small bead of clear acrylic, placing on the nail, and then nudging, nudging it around with the tip, and making sure it lies as flat as possible. There are mermaid scales in this, along with butterflies and stars and chunky cuts, so if you're not used to um, encapsulating a very chunky glitter, just take your time with this one and make sure it's nice and flat. Pushing it around with the tip of your brush and then patting it flat with the belly of your brush. So I'm just going to leave them to set into place and then I'm going to come in with a bead of clear acrylic into my super fine peacock um, holographic glitter. And I'm just doing a full glitter now because this one is going to end up being stamped. And then I'm going to do the diamond design. So I'm using a bit of the purple and the candy floss diamonds. I'm just popping them onto, I either use a spare pot or a, like this is like a little plastic tray I've got from, I honestly can't remember when. Um, and then I'm picking up a bead of clear acrylic, popping it in the purple holographic supervine and just creating that base. You just, it's easy to pick up the dots if they're on a flat surface rather than in a pot. So once I've got a nice, very thin base, I'm just going to do a wash of clear acrylic over. And then I'm using a dotting tool to pick up those diamonds and place over the nail. So picking them up randomly, bit of candy floss, bit of purple, there's no real pattern. And covering the entire nail with the diamonds. And if at any point, yeah, the base layer gets um, a bit dry, just do another quick wash of extremely thin clear acrylic. And I mean just a little wash, just so there's something for it to stick into. I'm not worrying too much about the, the free edge and around the sidewalls, because I know I'm going to shape these nails, because obviously this is a redesign. I just cut down, I don't shape, I shape afterwards. So now I'm going to cap all those nails in a crystal glass acrylic. Now because of the curl of the mermaid scales and the difference in shapes in this glitter, make sure you pay particular attention around that cuticle area and those side walls. Make sure that this glitter is fully encapsulated. The mermaid scales, because they curl, sometimes you can almost get an air bubble. So you need to really push your acrylic in and make sure it's all fully encapsulated. I'm doing exactly the same with the superfine, starting the cuticle area, creating that nice apex and then pulling and patting the acrylic forward to finish that correct structure and strengthen that nail. And then when they're all set we're ready to file. Now I love these diamonds when they're in the uh, matte acrylic because I think you can really they just look really nice when they're just matte. So I'd probably top coat it just like this. Um, but I've come in, I've done side wall, side wall, free edge. So I've created that rounded shape that my client wants. And then I'm going gently around the cuticle area. And then doing the body of the nail. Making sure you take your time to look at that nail from all angles. Never working too long on one spot, working the nail as a whole. 
So you get that nice smooth now. Okay, and now I'm going to use my Moyu Sailor stamping plate and Mercury stamping polish from them. I'm just placing that on, scraping off, picking up, and rolling straight on. And this is their Kaleidoscope stamper. I'm then going to pop one coat of CJP LED Top Gloss just on that stamped now, and I'm going to park cure this for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to park cure because it is a tack free, so if you do a full cure, the second layer will not adhere to it correctly. So if you do a park cure on the first, and then now I'm going to pop a top coat on all the other nails and do the second top coat on that stamped nail. Always double top coat any stamping or nail art, just to make sure it's fully encapsulated. And this glitter has got so much, it's just so pretty, it's dazzling to watch. And then the holographic diamonds, and when that diamond design is finished, that's also very eye catching So while that's having a 60 second cure, I'm going over my stamping plate and my scraper with acetone free polish remover and then gel cleanse. And then I'm using a lint roller to clean the stamper. I'm then using acetone free nail varnish remover to remove any excess polish. And then when it's all cooled down, I'm popping on a bit of cuticle oil. So there you go, guys. These are the nails I did from my client's inspiration. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, just pop them below. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.